guys, this is Pia Lopez with BFAST TV and we're in Palawan right now with Aldo Carrascoso, CEO of GPX. Well, thanks for having me, Pia. So GPX was founded from huge frustration. So cancer runs very, very high in our family. So my mother died of breast cancer at a very young age. My sister was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer. There, there came a point where it was just, I couldn't stand it. And you know, at the day and age where we're thinking of colonizing Mars, or we could hail a cab using an app, why haven't we had this elusive cure for cancer? So what GPX is doing is actually using artificial intelligence to find the next generation cure for um, cancer, essentially. Stanford released a study saying that genomics is so far away from the whole disease treatment itself, it's reached a ceiling. So what we're doing is we're commercializing the work of several genius scientists from UC Davis, um, UC, uh, I'm sorry, from Stanford, UC Berkeley, and from MUSC. What they're saying is, uh, we'll use something called glycomics. We'll use something called multiomics to attack the cancer itself. So we're not attacking the probability of cancer. We're attacking the modifications of the cancer cell itself. What is your advice to young entrepreneurs um, trying to figure out where they should place themselves in this, um, in this industry and uh, finding their purpose? Find many problems and retrofit the technology to solve it. For example, um, the problem of cancer seems to be a problem of data and framework. We never even stopped and thought about artificial intelligence until we realized that we generate so much data, just we don't use it. So we started with a very important, very, very hard problem, which became the company's purpose, which was to basically find a cure for mm -hmm. cancer. And I know those are strong words, but research, our data, and our current science is showing a pathway towards a therapeutic application. So. That's um, when I tell people, start with why, not with what or how. What problem are you solving? In the Philippines, there are tremendous amounts of things. Um, always start with that. How do you um, advise for young entrepreneurs to focus on what it is for them? There's, there are people who are problem solvers. Mm -hmm. There are people uh, that are problem finders. My difference is problems find me. Though it's good to... Um, to find problems, sometimes the problems that are closest to us mm -hmm. are the ones you should be taking, right? Because it becomes your life's work. He said, um, stand for something more. Can you, can you explain that to us? So, um, it's about humility. It's very important for people to understand that there is a greater direction to everything. You know, for people who are starting companies, I always tell them, it's very important for you to stand for something. Everyone in my team, in our team basically, is adding to the cure. So, a very you know, funny example is, sometimes they want to um, uh, call in sick, they don't. Not because I tell them to come to work, but because they told this to me. Every moment that I don't spend finding a cure for cancer is huh. one more miserable moment added to a family. Huh. I'm not kidding. So, <laughs> the mo their motivation is outside of me, outside of the company, it's now, it's with them. So that's what I do best. Wow, Aldo, thank you so much. It, great inspiration. You're doing great work, and thank you for sharing it to us. Um, so, guys, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to BeFast TV and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Bye.